Hey, can I get chocolate? <laughs> I'd love to give you some free samples, but these <laughs> these ones aren't for narcs. Wow. Alright, well, good to know I don't have any friends left. These people are completely unfazed, and they're still identical, and they still don't move. Welp, I'm a monster. Marcy, Dean, and... Trina. I keep thinking Irene for some, for some reason. Marcy, Dean, and Trina. I gotta try to remember those. The egg will probably tell me who actually was the person organizing the union. I have an idea. If we both live to 90, we should fight to the death. What? And whoever wins has to go to the other's funeral and sing The Winner Takes It All by Ava. Why? The winner takes it all, the loser standing small. Beside the victory, that's my destiny. But I was a fool. Playing by the rules, the gods may throw a dice, their minds as cold as ice. And somebody way down loses someone dear. The winner takes it all, the loser has to fall. It's simple and it's plain. Why should I complain? I don't know the song, by the way, so I can't even pretend to pantomime it. You look awful, honey. Are you sick? Nah, I'm just sick of work. Good things come to us, so we just have to be patient. I fired five people. For exclusively illegitimate reasons. Your right requires ten motivation. Uh, you're right. Did I get away with that? Did it work out? Maybe. How am I gonna buy- how am I gonna buy all my drugs? <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. I have one more request. There are members among my crew that I am unfit to serve as captain. Some whisper of mutiny. Mutiny! I cannot tolerate this. Use the Algor Egg to uncover the traitor. This is my last request. Is it Dean? Tubin T smothers his fear in false accusations. Okay. So, no, it's not. She said to ask Marcy. It might have been Marcy. They were awfully unified back there. Almost as if they're always talking. Renja plots to overthrow Bao Juin. She trusts not ch uh, tyrants. Renja, she is respected. What promise she has. But no, I will not tolerate a traitor. Bring Renja to kneel before me. So it was, it was Renja. Which means it was Marcy. Which means I could have maybe only gotten Marcy fired if I went straight for her, but I'm not sure. Dai Waholo. There's so many people here. And you bet I have not memorized where these people are. Ban Bia. Bia. Renja? Are you up in the top like you are in the real store? Ugwe. Higwe. So many people here. This might be the end of us being here. Whoop! Oh, they're unionizing and they look like Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Fight with me, friends. Baojuin is no leader. She thinks we fear her, but she... It is it is she who fears us. I, too, am ready for battle. So be it, Shin Show. Y'all ready for the Shin Show? Oh, we just went from zero to fighting. What do they do? They're affected by fury, so they do one more damage. You're doing a punch? Oh, wind up. They're using wind up now. 
Okay. Well, I can infect my characters with fury one turn at a time. Slowly. I'm gonna get away from the incoming attack that's coming after me. Try that. <laughs> Don't really want to stand right next to the incoming wind-up punch. But I'll wind up after you instead. Oh. You gonna punch me, Shinsho? No, you're doing wind-up. That, uh, that means we're gonna be winding up at the same time anyway. Crap. I could wind up back here, but then oh, that's the attack he's doing is towards that tile, so he's not going to move. But if I wind up towards here, I'm just going to be in punching range of that guy. I'm going to have a lot of attacks coming my way. Let's just dash past it. We can just double team this guy. We won't be able to respond. Sweep. And I can spread the fury around. This might be a patience kind of fight, because there's a lot of enemies, a lot of durability coming at me, and they have some charge up attacks. Probably go, both gonna need a turn of just sitting here, basically. Not currently under attack. Let's both rest for a second. While we have the moment, everyone's kind of resting. Spread the fury around. <laughs> they all start with fury, that's rough. This might hurt if I do this. I can just jab you. You're just blocking for a moment. As this guy slowly- they both are gonna slowly approach and I, I can dodge next when, when their attacks are incoming. Right now they're both doing wind up. I'm just gonna try very hard to avoid most attacks, basically. There's a lot going around. And I don't want to melt. Sweep. Oof. You need to get out of that. There we go. I'm not actually doing damage though, I'm just taking out people's stamina over and over again. And he's gonna land over there. So you'll be able to attack him next turn, but you can't reach anyone really still. And Nurture just isn't that good. Nurture is a one health transfer. And this gets someone to heal via pairing. I kinda just need her to get into the action to start hitting people. Surprisingly, she, she doesn't have a lot of the really cool skills, like Calm and Tense would be fantastic to have on the sort of background character that doesn't cover a lot of ground, that doesn't have any big hits. But she doesn't have those, so I can't use them for that purpose. Go for the jab while they're still motionless. Take advantage. What is the outcome of that? Does the jab still happen? The jab still happens and I dash into them. I think that's a good move. No one's out of fury yet. <clears throat> They'll probably stay there. Just keep moving forward. You're doing the wind up. So you're not doing anything this turn, basically. Strong punch. 
I did not realize you could do that. I just did a jab, right? What, I can do a strong punch? Am I still- am I still wound up, basically? I didn't realize that was an option. That's powerful. They're going for you for the wind-up. You could rest, because no one's gonna actually hit you this turn, right? Yeah, they're just gonna push you one tile, which doesn't really hurt. But you need to move a tile, or they're gonna dodge you. What's he doing? That's rest? I thought that was rest. Oh, that's Epo. Strong punch. Yeah, don't walk into there. No. It's actually a bad call. Uh, my bad. Change action. We actually need, uh, Fury again. This Fury's running out. Yeah, do not move directly into the incoming punch. Gen generally a bad call, as it turns out. So you're resting. No one's attacking you right now, thankfully. You can parry. We'll stop the incoming attack from hitting me. Probably better than moving. There's no one, to, no one to jab, and I can't really prep to jab them afterwards, but it, yeah, the fury cycle's happening again. And now he's surrounded, so he's just gonna get hit by everybody. The anti-block powers can be effective, but oftentimes I'm not even blocking that uh, that often, but I also just can sort of beat through it, frankly. Jab. This person's doing a wind-up, so they're not going to be able to hit me right now. You can't jab at all, you can sweep. Which hits that guy. But that guy won't be into the tile in, in time. So he'll just melt. There we go. And he's coming in for the... a punch now. Oh, I thought my character disappeared because I couldn't see anyone in this tile, but they're just so... in that stance. Here comes the parry. I don't think I can preemptively attack you at all. Let's just give, uh... I could give somebody calm, or... Actually... I can massively reduce their SP so they can't block. Now they're at zero SP, and surrounded by my team. One of which is gonna rest, unfortunately, but otherwise we're good to go. I can't do a sweep. Yeah, my characters need to rest. But he's staggered right now. So it's like a free turn to do that. Strong punch time. That should really be all we need. But I'll sweep anyway. Just overkill this. All people, all three people attack at once. Goodbye! Seems like if you're careful enough, you can get through the entire game without taking a single hit in these fights. Fighting defensively enough, you can always avoid the incoming moves. Desperation has made Bao Zhuin reckless. She was wrong to trust that madman to retrieve the spear. Ooh, the spear the game's named after, probably. You sent Onija and his army to steal the king's spear? Why? Legend has it, the spear is the source of the king's power. With it, I could rebuild the once great empire of my ancestors. It was foolish to trust Onija, I know. But my people are dwindling. With each generation, I fe uh, fewer survive the unforgiving weather of this age. I'm trying to imagine how this is going to relate to this main story in the real world, just because 
uh, some of the stuff has had like one-to-one -one correlations, and I'm like, what is the is the store manager somehow related to the religious podcast guy that got our our mom to throw away all of her money? Our backs are against the wall. I must take some risks if we are to survive. Any less would be irresponsible. The king vanished with the spear. I doubt Onisha will find him, but I may be, still be able to use the algorithm to locate the king. Back to real life. I can't keep playing, it's too late. Bedtime. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Psst, Uncle Gary. <laughs> this kid again. Isaac, how'd you get here? Uh, how did you jump in through the window over the desk? That's impressive. I rode my bike. I need to stay here for the night. Is that cool? Why? What's wrong at home? My dad's visiting tomorrow and I hate his guts. So you're hiding? Your mom will panic. I know, but I have no other choice. It's her fault for letting him visit. Did he hurt you or your mom? Is he dangerous? No, man, that's not it. I haven't seen him since I was in diapers. He hasn't even bothered with a damn birthday card my whole life. Now we're supposed to bond because he decided he's ready? No way. Kid, a guy like that doesn't care about anyone but himself. He isn't cut out to be a dad. You basically can't just you there's no lay low option. You either you either kick him out, you you tell him he can't hide from his dad, or you uh say you'll talk to his mom to convince her. There is no like just let him stay here option. So we we already have a really specific idea of what where our character's sort of railroaded to go to an extent. You can hate your dad, but don't hide from him. What do I say to him? Just thinking about his ugly face makes me sick. I don't know. Maybe there's nothing to say to him. People have tried to tell me when I when I let them down, but I didn't listen. Like your dad. I haven't always been there for the people I care about. Even when they need me most. It's not because I don't love them. It's just so hard to find the motivation. I figured, why not just have fun? But people need you and you need them. You need to go home. If you hide and make your parents worried, you're, uh, you're just like me, hiding in my room. You got a point. I don't want to be as lame as you. Alright, I'll go home. And then he warped back through the window like a badass. Finally a day off. I've never been so happy to have a day off. Jumbo, Jumbo Mart is soul-crushing. But at least the bills are paid. Mom doesn't care yet, but when the world doesn't end, she'll thank me. Oh uh, yeah, plus three for supporting mom. Gary, can you plant something in the garden for me, please? It's Pikmin. Just a surprise. Things get weird. Had a three-day work week. I guess we just started in the middle. Oh, goodness. My morning glories arrived. I left them in the garden for you. Be careful, they're delicate. Why do I need to plant flower flowers if the world is ending? You want Jesus to be impressed when he comes for us, don't you? I bet he loves flowers. Ascension sounds nice, but it's a shame that we won't be buried in Hilltop Cemetery. I bet it's wonderful being buried. What in the world? Always surrounded by family, grandma and grandpa and your father. It must be nice to talk to the dead. You believe in the afterlife, don't you, Gary? Boy, is this awkward if not, because you just threw away all of our money. I don't know. Well, you'll see soon enough. You're going to love heaven. It's supposed to be very scenic. <laughs> she has such quaint and, like, minor compliments for these, like, grand world-ending events. And concepts like the afterlife. The morning glories. I'm gonna jam you over here. There you go. 
Your work is done. There are 11 unwatered flowers. Oh, your work is not done. Well, that's what I was going to do. Oh, did I accidentally say that I was leaving? No. I was, thought I was leaving that menu. Target ally gains one hit point when their strike hits. Ooh. Heals you by attacking instead of blocking. I do a lot of attacking. Unwatered zero. Who knew planting and gardening was so easy? I'm apparently a boss at this thing that requires no effort. And we're not allowed to cross the street. That's just our backyard. I'm just so used to immediately getting in the car that I just thought I'd poke around a little bit, see if there's any weird surprises, I don't know. Did you plant those morning glories yet? Yep. You are the sweetest son a mother could, a could ask for. Aw, I got mom's approval. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, something strange is going on. Legend of the Spear, I should see where it goes. He said he was going to call his, girl, his girlfriend, and it never happened? And I don't know if I was supposed to do something, or if it was just implied and didn't happen on screen? Because we seem to literally never take our eyes off him, as he goes from, like, bed to work to game to bed. Conspicuously never eating, or, or uh, using the bathroom. Or showering, or changing clothes. <laughs> you promised to grant us the use of the algorithm if we proved our loyalty. And so you have. The Augur egg is yours. We've got the egg. Egg, where is our king? Please tell us. Feed me the king's true name, and I will reveal his whereabouts. Uh... I have known the king... All my life, but he has never revealed his name. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I'm like, I don't know his name. The princess should know the king's name, but she remains at the palace, I hope. Recall Sintav Recall Sintravos granted us passage through Netherwater to any place. We can return to the palace to find her. Indeed, the power of the Glug's elixir still course through our veins. We may return to the nether water through any body of water like the river at the dragon's feet. And we will return to the palace through the nether water. Sup? Back to the- oh! Uh, no. Not the jade dragon. I, I really like the environmental design here. The walls and everything. The art's clearly one of the strong points of the entire game. Even if it does look a little weird, like the angles your character faces while running sometimes, because only, they only face so many directions. Enough time has passed that these mud sacks must think we've forgotten about them, but we glugs never forget. We do. I forgot quite a lot, actually. But I know these landlubbers, they jumped us by the waterfall. You attacked us. Who can keep track? But that was out of our element. Here in the deep, we have some surprises to show you. They're moving. Snare. Prevents the target enemy from stepping or dashing for three turns. Well, shit. That's not good. Wind up! Oh, it's gonna stop me from- it's gonna immediately stop me from doing it? Even if I dash? Even if I dash, he'll snare me first. Great. Alright, so I'm not gonna be able to move, so any melee attack will not work, any move will not work. This block- Blocking doesn't- isn't an option. This gets everyone SP, I have that skill now, but it doesn't help me. I can calm you. And I can give you fury. 
And now she can move crazy distances and do higher damage attacks, try to make up for the other character not getting moves in, basically. Here comes the damage. If I'm lucky, I can position behind them and, and uh, AoE attack them. That'd be the ideal. While I'm at it, though, I'm going to do a wind-up, which I'll then do- I'll stand still, but I'll still get the wind-up as they approach me. And you get a fury. Yes! Here comes the kick! This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Sweep! Oh, a dodge. Bummer. He's dashing to avoid the wind-up. I mean, the strong punch. Yeah, that'll get dodged. Well, then I'll rally all to give everyone stamina. Since you're not going to be able to do anything this turn. Both people have Fury. Could throw Pride around a little bit. Or just give myself Fury. Grandma's getting angry. Grandma pressed her angry button. <laughs> he's, he's immobile for a while, and I don't think he has a way of getting rid of it. Let's see. You get to be calm now. Everyone gets to be calm, reducing their usage of everything. What are you doing? Harry. Harry is a strike that will stagger the striker and switch opponents with theirs. That only works if I attack you, though, doesn't it? So if I jab them, that'll lead to the switch. Yep. Then they'll be completely out of AP. Or I could just take a step. And he'll still use up his... He'll still use up his SP against nothing. I'm gonna dash in, because then I can hopefully get an AoE in. No, he's a, he has to rest. That means he's standing still for this part. Bad news. Shouldn't do it there, though. Sweep you. Then I can't hit Kaliki, uh, Winkali as he moves down. He still can't move though, can he? Oh wow, yeah, he still can't. Never mind. Rally all, keep that, keep that SP up, I guess. Why not? I'll jab the one that has more hit points. Double kill? Is that it? Boom. Joke's on you, you immobilize my main character so he can't go anywhere. And I still take you out in three turns. I think that was three turns. How embarrassing. Whoop, 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 as everyone fades away.